In today's video, I'm going to be giving you the best way to stop the pass in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to help you take your game to the next level in Madden. We do that through a variety of different ways, through tips, through strategies, through film studies and stuff like that. And in today's video, I think it's going to be very, very helpful to you if you're having a hard time stopping the pass. This, in my opinion, is the best defense in Madden 21 at launch. It's probably one of the better defenses that I've ever seen and had very difficult time stopping or getting yards against myself, especially because the running game's not as powerful this year. So what I've got is I've got the Green Bay Packers. Now, again, you don't have to have the Green Bay Packers. You don't have to have a specific team. You do want to have good corners. But, again, at the end of the day, you know, you can do what you only, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So nickel 335, that's the defense. We're in the 4-6 playbook. Again, a link to my full defensive ebook is in the description below. You can also get my full offense with that it's my competitive bundle guide so if you want to pick that up that is in the description of this video all right so nickel 335 and the play that you're going to run it's very very important that you run this specifically actually i'm sorry really quick coaching adjustments this is important darn auto flip off auto alignment we're going to put base align on i like running this with base align you don't have to i personally really think base align works better but that's just my personal opinion um, so base align on, and again, you can man align it if you want to. Ball in air defense, we're going to put play ball. Cornerback matchups, this is really, really important. What you want to do is you want to sign it by route running. I think route running is actually more effective than assigning it by speed. That's just my personal opinion. Option defense, we're going to put on conservative. These two don't really matter, but we're going to put a tackling on aggressive. What that means is whenever they try to catch it, you're going to be able to get aggressive tackles, and oftentimes you'll get drops. Zone drops, this is the key. We're going to put our zone drops at about in between 15 and 20. 15 to 20, whichever you feel comfortable with. 15 to 20 yards. Right there. Everything's in 15 to 20. Then we're going to come into by formation. On nickel 335, what you can do is you can put your best two pass rushers at the edge. You got a mid interior guy here, Kenny Clark, for the inside zone run. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put corners at uh, safeties. So Jackson's going to be at one safety. Um, let's see here. We're going to put um, Hallman, K Kadar Hallman is going to be at another safety. And then down here, you're going to put Adrian Amos here. You're going to put um, Redmond here. So two fast guys here. And then right here, you're going to put your user. Your user is going to be on the left side of the screen. Now, the defense that I like to run is cover one. Because cover zero actually works in this year's game. So the defense that I like to run is cover one, contain, spy. Okay, cover one, contain, spy. That's all you got to call. So you're just going to come out in that. Now on offense, we're going to come out in like shotgun bunch, for example. We'll just show you. Um, and we'll show you, we'll show you verticals because verticals is a very good play. So what you're going to see here, some glitch, weird glitches here. Have to run a play. We have a little bit of a weird glitch here with the wide receivers. This is this has been a weird glitch that's been happening every now and then in the game. Anyway, so once you get out on the line, out of the ball, all you're gonna do <laughs> looks like we're gonna have to pick a whole new play entirely. Um, so all you're going to do is you are going to put your blitzing guy into a um, a a flat or a quarter flat. It doesn't really matter what you choose to do. Right, it really doesn't. Um, but we'll show you here verticals, and then we'll just go into again nickel three through five. You're going to come out in the play, cover one, contain spy. What you're going to see is on the outsides, your corners are going to play off. I think it works a lot better with them playing off coverage. You're going to shade inside. Gosh dang, it's still happening. I don't know why. It's so weird. Might have to do with the fact that we did some weird stuff with our coaching adjustments. Um, let's just pick. Let's just pick any other. Let's just pick ace. Ace slot offset. So post right. This is one of the better plays of the year, in the entire game. So nickel three three five. It doesn't matter what pass play they call. It really doesn't. It's the same concept. Same concept. So all you're gonna do. Let's just keep happening. This is so weird. All you're going to do is you're going to take your quarters guy, your safety on the left. You're gonna put him in a curl flat. And then on the right side, you're gonna put him in a curl flat as well. You see how it's got two curl flats, that's the key. Then you're going to shade. It's really, really important that you shade your coverage. I personally think it works best if you shade them underneath and inside. So it doesn't matter if these zones are in cloud flats, that doesn't matter, they're still gonna get the drop. 
And then all you're going to do is you're going to use her, this guy on the left, and at the snap of the ball, you're just going to use her underneath stuff. Whatever's open underneath, that's what you're going to take away right here. It's the quarter, little angle route. And what you'll see is these defenders stick to the pass like absolute glue. Let me show you an instant replay here real quick. So you'll see here, if you just watch, that cor that post route is, or that little corner route is probable. But again, he's going to throw it right into a cloud flat. We can we can click on and we can make it those. The, the reason I play it inside, again, you're going to give up the outside, but you've got those safeties going up to the outside. Now, you could cut, you could shade coverage to the outside if you want to. Um, it doesn't really matter. The reason I like to shade to the inside is I think it makes it a lot harder to throw drag routes, post routes, in-breaking patterns. Um, to me, it's just going to make it a little bit better because I think in-routes actually beat uh, man better than out-routes do. Um here we'll just show you a simple, very simple concepts, right? These these are just passing concepts that we're going to show these to you against. But again, cover one, contain. Same thing again here, uh, and you can do it from cover zero if you want to. Just put both of these guys in zones, shade coverage inside, and then you're good to go. I actually like this a little bit better. I think the safeties play better, um, but as you see there, you get some pressure. But it's very very simple. Um, you can do it from 35. A lot of people are liking to do it this year. Um, a lot of people are liking to do it from dollar because the slot corners are going to line up out of a baseline front. Um, the reason I don't like to do that is because, in my opinion, nickel 335 is a little bit better because they already have inside leverage. I like the leverage positions. I like the positions of that. I also like the zones that I can play from that specific uh, zone. And let's see here. So again, here, ran, we're just gonna go against random random uh, passing. But you see, very, very simple. I like to pass commit, and literally, that's all you do. You shade inside, and there's not gonna be anything open. You'll see here, snap of the ball, there's just nothing. I mean, there's literally just nothing open. Everything's gonna be covered. There's no, you know, as long as you have good corners, fat, and when I say good, I mean speed. As long as you have fast cornerbacks, it's going to be very difficult to stop. Um, you want to throw, in my opinion, this year, the way to play the game is going to be to put all of your abilities at the cornerback position, play man-to-man -man coverage, and lock up with your user. Man-to-man -man is really, really difficult to stop. You mix in zone at the right time with this. One of my favorite zones here from the 3-5 through five wide is the cover three sky drop. Cover three is really good this year. It's better than it has ever been. And you'll see, very, very difficult. Um, pretty much all they can do is run the ball, but you can go to the nickel normal or the nickel 35 wide to be able to stop it. So, again, if you want to learn a little bit more about how to run this defense at a high level, I have a link to my competitive guide bundle in the description of this video. It's going to help you guys get um, really take your defense to a whole nother level. We got pressures in there, we got a get pressure, edge, edge pressure, looping pressures. Uh, we've also got uh, a ton of really, really good coverage defenses. So be sure to pick that up, and that's really going to help you take your game to the next level in Madden 21. Thank you guys so much for your time. And what I want to encourage you to do, if you haven't already, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click subscribe. But more importantly, I want you to join my Discord. My Discord is the best possible place to stay up to date with everything that I've got coming out in Madden 21.